Hey guys, what's up? So for this week's video, I'm doing a QA and a and I haven't done one since, I don't think I haven't done a Q&A since like August. So it's been a very hot minute since I have done a Q&A. So I asked you guys on Twitter with the hashtag AskMusicLover2440 and yeah, I'm going to read some of your questions right now. Majority of these are from my best friend Bia. Which celebrity would you fuck and regret? KJ Appa. Here's why. <laughs> well, no. It's a decision between KJ Appa and Cole Sprouse. Cole Sprouse because I don't know. I don't know. But I just read what the blogs say that either Lily and Cole are dating or they're not dating. I feel as that if I was, like, fucking Cole, then Lily would get so pissed at me and then I would lose, like, everything. Like... I love Lily, like, I love Cole, I love Bughead, like, I'm a Bughead shipper, but, like, I feel as that Lily would hate me. <laughs> I don't know. And then KJ, he's just so good looking, he's, like, too good looking for me. So, so I guess that's, so pretty much, yeah. But have you seen his tribal tattoo and his abs? Like, oh my god. Bia also says, how is the Tinder life going? I don't know how to explain this very well. Sorry for my hair, but like, how do I explain this? <laughs> it's taking like a roller coaster-ish turn. See, when I first started it and I did it in that video, a card will fly out here somewhere. Wig flew. Like, at a really high high when I first started because I was getting matches I was talking to people I was swiping right and swiping left it was working out very well and then towards this month it just went kept going down nobody wanted to reply to me all he said was hi <laughs> and nobody replied to me I had a few good matches and then they unmatched me um I don't know, but hopefully maybe by the end of this year I will be getting a boyfriend. I don't know, but that was my only thing with signing up for Tinder was to get a boyfriend. Um, hopefully that happens, and if it doesn't, then I don't know what to do, and sorry if I'm playing with my hair so much, like, just pray that I do not die alone, because I just want someone in the grave next to me, so let's just hope that I don't die alone. Bia asks, would I date a girl? No. And here is why, and a little bonus thing. I would not date a girl because I am straight, I am not lesbian, I'm not bisexual. But, however, I think girls are so amazing in their own special way, and no matter who or what they are, I fully support. I'm a girl boss, I girl love, all that stuff. I believe that girls can do anything in this lifetime, and we could overpowering men and like their stereotypes of like what a girl should do like a girl should stay home a girl shouldn't have a job a girl shouldn't be president a girl shouldn't do this and that this and that like i strongly believe that girls can do so much more than guys in this lifetime getting back to the question i fully 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 support anybody that is in the lgbtq community i have friends in that community and i fully fully support them and i am so proud of them for what they do and who they are and my love is never going to change and they're the same person and my love is just never going to change for them and so yeah but no i'm into the dick and uh to the boys so oh my god bia in these questions she said would you what youtube would you fuck if you had a chance at playlist live don't know. Um, most likely if I fuck a YouTuber, I'm gonna get kicked out of Playlist Live. I really would. So I don't even know who I would. Sorry for my eye. I don't even know who I would. I can't think of anybody. Um, like I said, I most likely will get kicked out of Playlist Live if I did that. So. And one of the last questions from Mia is cake or pie? Cake. Because I got these birthday cake 
popcorn things from up the, up like my up my street because there's like a little convenience store up my street so i got them and they're so good anything that's like birthday cake flavor i will eat like if it's an actual birthday cake i will eat it <laughs> hey cake 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 sawyer knight says favorite riverdale character characters well he put Favorite Riverdale characters. Okay. If you were to ask me this at the beginning of, like, when I first started watching it, I would have said Veronica. But now, it's a mix between Cheryl and Tony. I love Tony and her style, her look. Like, it's just, it's just like me. And, like, I love it. And I, wa and I love her hair as well. Her style, I love her attitude, I love her boss. <laughs> like, Tony is an actual bad bitch, and I fucking love her. And then for Cheryl, Cheryl has her signature red lip. Some people are, like, skeptical when it comes to red lips. Like, people think, like, red lips are, like, sec too sexual, I think, or I don't know. At least to people in my family, every time, every time I wear red lipstick, my family goes berserk. They think, like... I don't know, they think like I'm gonna have sex or something. Like, it's just a color, it's not the end of the world, so don't be so dramatic about red lipstick. And I wear red lipstick confidently because of Cheryl. So, Bia says, do you believe in the law of attraction? <laughs> okay. I'm living up to the expectation of a dumb blonde, and I am a dumb blonde. Um, I had to look, Google this because I didn't know what this meant. But it basically is a belief of negatives and positives in this lifetime. I don't know. I'll try to put it in the description if you're so curious. Or just go and Google it. I don't know. Um, basically, like, you put positive, po positive things would happen. You put negative, negative things would happen. I guess I believe in it. I don't know. I'm still a dumb blonde, so I don't really know the law of attraction. I'm not smart. I didn't go to college. My friends are in college, and they are doing so much more better than me. And they probably can answer this confidently. I, I, I don't know. All I know is that when it comes to positive and negative stuff in your lifetime, if you put positive stuff, positive stuff will come back to you. Negative stuff, negative stuff will come back to you. And... I always just try to have a great attitude, like, no matter what the situation, because I always think it could be worse, it could be worse, it could be worse, because, like, you never know what can happen throughout your day, and so I always think it could be worse. So, I just always try to think positive in, like, the worst situations, because, like I said, it could get, could be worse, it, it could get, it gets worse, <laughs> buy it at your local bookstores now by Shane Dawson. Bia says, dream place to travel to. Okay, I have three. I have like five or four. I want to say three, but I have five or four. So, number one is California. I have never been to California. Hopefully, I'm going to get to go in May. And if I go in May, I'm going to love it so much. Put that out there. This is Florida. I'm the only one in my family who has not gone to Florida. Even the babies that are in my family have went before me. Work. So, definitely, Florida is one of those in the mix. Third one is New York City. I want to go there either during when it's New Year's Eve. Yes, I know people are freezing their actual nuts, tits, and vaginas off. So, I don't know how that would be for me. But, just, like, the beautifulness of, like, New York City and, like, it at 4 a.m. or something. And, like, all, like, the confetti still down on the ground from, like, New Year's Rock and Eve and all that stuff. Like, it just looks so beautiful. And New York has, like great photography places. I have looked it. I have googled it. Nikki DiMartino has put it in her vlog so that's how I know it's a good place to go. The fourth one is Bora Bora because recently all the beauty gurus I follow are in Bora Bora for tripping with Tarte and I wish I could be one of those people. <laughs> Literally, Loey is there. Adeline, Nikki, Gabby, Alicia, Mia, Remy, Tiffany, <laughs> Meredith. <laughs> like, all these beauty gurus I like and follow are there. <laughs> like, wow. Wow. So Bora Bora, um, 
is definitely one of those. And then the last one is Paris. Paris is just so beautiful and I would love to go and see not Paris Hilton, but the, the city Paris. <laughs> go to the Eiffel Tower, go to the Locks Bridge, Locks Bridge, Love Lock Bridge, I don't know what it's called. What is the Lock Bridge in Paris called? It's a bunch of French that I don't know. Okay, Love Lock Bridge. Wait, what's the name? It's in French. Pond des Art. I cannot speak French, so. There's that. <laughs> Bia's other and last question is, would I fuck Veronica Lodge? If you guys don't know who Veronica Lodge is, it is Camila Mendez from Riverdale. I love Camila and I love Veronica. Veronica is so confident in her own way and that's why I love her. And I would not because Archie has that already covered. And, and plus, you know, Veronica is still that thing. You know, Betty and Veronica. I don't know, everybody thinks that's gonna happen. I don't know. Last two questions are from Bro X, which is Austin, my best friend. Hello, hi, ho. He says, when are you dropping your mixtape? Never, because I cannot rap like Drake nor Logic. I don't know how people do it. Like, I wanted to make a diss track, like, when the diss track stuff was, like, going on. Like, I wanted to make a diss track, like, so bad. But I couldn't think of a diss track to make against somebody because it was so nice. So, that didn't happen very well. His, and this is the last question. Also, who do you ship yourself with from Riverdale? Definitely Jughead. Literally, like, Jenhead. Just picture it. Jenhead. Like, that would look so cute together. Like, I'm sorry, Bughead is out. <laughs> Jenhead <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I'm such a Bughead shipper. I would never replace Betty and Jughead. No, but if I had to, it would probably be with Jughead. <laughs> Well, that is it for this week's video. If you guys liked it, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions for me, leave it in the comments below. And yeah, don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I have a little announcement. So I've been playing with my hair a lot. So, and it's like curly and it's wavy and it's just mm. I've had this blonde hair since basically I dyed it in July I believe July August so it's been here for a while and it has barely grown <laughs> since it has been here um so I'm changing it to a different color and you guys are gonna have to wait till next week's video to see and you're probably wondering how am I gonna keep this a secret well on snapchat there is a black and white filter and on Instagram so I'm gonna most likely be using that but I will put in a few here and there clips on my social medias hopefully this goes up before then if not then yeah also, in the comments, try to guess the color I am dyeing my hair, and I will have an explanation video when the video comes out of why I wanted to dye my hair this specific color, and yeah. Okay, so I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's going to be great. I'm excited for it. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, as always, stay strong, don't hate, just love, I heart you guys to infinity and beyond, and I'll see you guys next time, but it was so, so much. Bye.